Steel Authority of India Limited Sale is an Indian state-owned steel making company based in New Delhi, India. It is a public sector undertaking, owned and operated by the Government of India with an annual turnover of 44,452 crore Indian rupees $6.83 billion for fiscal year 2016-17. Incorporated on 24 January 1973, Sale has 74,719 employees as of 1 September 2018. With an annual production of 14.38 million metric tons, Sale is the largest steel producer in India and one of the largest steel producers in the world. The hot metal production capacity of the company will further increase and is expected to reach a level of 50 million tons per annum by 2025. Sri Anil Kumar Chowdhury is the current chairman of SAIL. SAIL operates and owns five integrated steel plants at Balai, Rorkela, Durgapur, Bokaro and Burnpur and three special steel plants at Salem, Durgapur and Badravathi. It also owns a ferro-alloy plant at Chandrapur. As a part of its global ambition, the company is undergoing a massive expansion and modernization program involving upgrading and building new facilities with emphasis on state-of-the-art green technology. According to a recent survey, SAIL is one of India's fastest-growing public sector units. Besides, it has R&D Center for Iron and Steel RDCIS, Center for Engineering in Ranchi, Jharkhand. History Topic: 1959–1973 Sale traces its origin to the Hindustan Steel Limited HSL which was set up on the 19th of January 1954 HSL was initially designed to manage only one plant that was coming up at Rorkela for Balai and Durgapur steel plants the preliminary work was done by the Iron and Steel Ministry from April 1957, the supervision and control of these two steel plants were also transferred to Hindustan Steel. The registered office was originally in New Delhi. It moved to Calcutta in July 1956, and ultimately to Ranchi in December 1959. A new steel company, Bokaro Steel Limited, Bokaro Steel Plant, was incorporated on the 29th of January 1964 to construct and operate the steel plant at Bokaro. The 1 MT phases of Balai and Rorkela steel plants were completed by the end of December 1961. The 1 MT phase of Durgapur steel plant was completed in January 1962 after commissioning of the wheel and axle plant. The crude steel production of HSL went up from 1.58 MT to 1.6 mount. The second phase of Balai steel plant was completed in September 1967 after commissioning of the wire rod mill. The last unit of the 1.8 MT phase of Rorkela, the tandem mill, was commissioned in February 1968, and the 1.6 MT stage of Durgapur steel plant was completed in August 1969 after commissioning of the furnace in SMS. Thus, with the completion of the 2.5 MT stage at Balai, 1.8 MT at Rorkela and 1.6 MT at Durgapur, the total crude steel production capacity of HSL was raised to 3.7 MT in 1968–69 and subsequently to 4 MT in 1972–73. IISCO was taken over as a subsidiary in 1978 and later merged in 2006.
Topic: <laughs> Holding Company. The Ministry of Steel and Mines drafted a policy statement to evolve a new model for managing industry. The policy statement was presented to the Parliament on 2 December 1972. On this basis the concept of creating a holding company to manage inputs and outputs under one roof was mooted. This led to the formation of the Steel Authority of India Limited. The company, incorporated on 24 January 1973 with an authorized capital of 2,000 crore rupees $280 million, was made responsible for managing five integrated steel plants at Balai, Bokaro, Durgapur, Rorkela and Burnpur, the Alloy Steel Plant and the Salem Steel Plant. In 1978 Sale was restructured as an operating company. <inaudible> <inaudible> Major units Sale Integrated Steel Plants Rorkela Steel Plant RSP in Odisha set up with German collaboration, the first integrated steel plant in the public sector in India, 1959 Balai Steel Plant BSP in Chhattisgarh set up with Soviet collaboration 1959 Durgapur Steel Plant DSP at Durgapur, West Bengal set up with British collaboration 1965. Bokaro Steel Plant BSL in Jharkhand 1965 set up with Soviet collaboration the plant is hailed as the country's first Swadeshi steel plant built with maximum indigenous content in terms of equipment material and know-how IISCO Steel Plant ISP at Burnpur in Asansol, West Bengal plant equipped with largest blast furnace of country, modernized in 2015 with investment of 16,000 crore which will yield total production of 2.9 million ton annually special steel plants Alloy Steel Plant ASP, Durgapur, West Bengal Salem Steel Plant SSP, Tamil Nadu Visvesvaraya Iron and Steel Limited VISL, at Badravathi, Karnataka Ferro Alloy Plant Chandrapur Ferro Alloy Plant CFP, in Maharashtra Refractory Plants, Sale Refractory Unit SRU, Sale Refractory Unit, Bandarida in Jharkhand Sale Refractory Unit, Balai in Chhattisgarh Sale Refractory Unit, IFICO, Ramgar in Jharkhand Sale Refractory Unit, Ranchi Road in Jharkhand Central Units Center for Engineering and Technology Research and Development Center for Iron and Steel Sale Consultancy Organization Environment Management Division Topic Joint Ventures Topic NTPC Sale Power Company Limited NSPCL A 50 to 50 joint venture between Steel Authority of India Limited Sale and National Thermal Power Corporation Limited NTPC Limited it manages the captive power plants at Rorkela, Durgapur and Balai with a combined capacity of 314 MW. It has installed additional capacity by implementation of 500 MW power plant at Balai. 
The commercial generation of Unit 1 commenced in April 2009 and the Unit 2 in October 2009. NSPCL Rokela 2 by 60 megawatts NSPCL Durgapur 2 by 60 megawatts NSPCL Balai 2 by 30 megawatts plus 1 by 14 megawatts during FY 2013-14 NSPCL generated 6156.091 mu of electricity with a PLF of 86.33% Topic Bokaro Power Supply Company Private Limited BPSCL Established in 2001, a 50 to 50 joint venture between Steel Authority of India Limited Sale and Damodar Valley Corporation (DVC) and is engaged in power and steam generation and supplies power and steam at various pressures to SAIL's Bokaro Steel Plant (BSL) located at Bokaro for meeting the process requirement of BSL. The plant has nine boilers, five boilers each of 220 TPH, three boilers each of 260 TPH capacity, and one boiler of 300 TPH, and seven turbine generators, one 12 megawatts back pressure turbine generator (TG). 2 TGs each of 55 MW capacity, 3 TGs each of 60 MW capacity and 1 36 MW back pressure turbine generator. GG Imjunction Services Limited Imjunction Services Limited operating in information technology and the Internet, is a 50 to 50 venture promoted by Sale and Tata Steel. Founded in February 2001, it is today not only India's largest e commerce company, having e transacted worth over Rs. 900 billion till date, but also runs the world's largest a marketplace for steel. Topic: Balai JP Cement Limited. Sale has incorporated a joint venture company with M S Jayprakash Associates Limited to set up a 2.2 MT slag-based cement plant at Balai. The company shall commence cement production at Balai by March 2010, whereas clinker production at Satna shall start within 2009. Topic: Bokaro JP Cement Limited. Sale has incorporated another joint venture company with M S Jayprakash Associates Limited to set up a 2.1 MT cement plant at Bokaro, utilizing slag from BSL. The project implementation is under progress, with commencement of cement production likely by July 2011. Bokaro JP Cement Plant opening ceremony was held by the Chief Minister of Jharkhand Shri. Arjun Munda in 2012. SAIL and MOIL Ferro Alloys Private Limited Sale has incorporated a joint venture company with Manganese Ore India Limited on 50 to 50 basis to produce ferro manganese and silico manganese required for production of steel. Topic S and T Mining Company Private. Limited Sale has incorporated a joint venture company with Tata Steel for joint acquisition and development of coal blocks, mines. New indigenous opportunities for coking coal development are being explored by the joint venture company for securing coking coal supplies. Topic: 
International Coal Ventures Private Limited International Coal Ventures Private Limited is a special purpose vehicle set up to achieve the target of making steel PSUs self-reliant in the area of coking coal. A joint venture company has been incorporated composed of five central PSU companies i.e. Sale, Rashtriya Ispat Nigam Limited, RINL, Coal India Limited and other target countries. Topic: Development of Hajigak iron ore mines in Afghanistan. A consortium comprising state-owned NMDC and RINL and private sector steel players, JSW, JSW Ispat, Jindal Steel and Power, and Monet Ispat and Energy and led by Sale, plan to invest US$75 million in first phase for the development of Hajigak iron ore mines in Afghanistan. The consortium, in November 2011, had won the mining rights for three iron ore mines which are said to contain 1.28 billion tons of rich reserves. <laughs> <laughs> development of mines through outsourcing Sale has decided to outsource development of two virgin iron ore mines at Rogat in Chhattisgarh and Chiria in Jharkhand with an annual capacity of 14 and 15 million tonnes, respectively. The development of each mine is likely to cost between 1000 crore rupees, 140 million dollars, 1200 crore rupees, 170 million dollars. Topic. Sale SCL Limited A 50 to 50 JV with Government of Kerala, where Sale has management control to revive the existing facilities at Steel Complex Limited, Calicut, and also to set up, develop, and manage a TMT rolling mill of 65,000 MT capacity along with balancing facilities and auxiliaries. Topic: International Coal Ventures Private Limited. ICVL is a joint venture of five companies owned by the Indian government. Aside from Steel Authority of India Limited, the other venturers are Coal India, Rashtriya Ispat Nigam, National Minerals Development Corporation, and National Thermal Power Corporation. ICVL acquired a 65% stake in the Benga coal mine from the Rio Tinto Group in July 2014. <laughs> Sale Rights Bengal Alloy Casting Private. Limited Sale has signed a 50 to 50 joint venture with Burn Standard Company Limited for setting up a wagon components manufacturing facility at Jellingham in West Bengal's Purba Medinapur district. The total investment for this project would be 210 crore rupees, 29 million dollars in West Bengal and commercial production would begin from 2014. It will manufacture, sell, market, distribute and export railway wagons, including high-end specialized wagons, wagon prototypes, fabricated components, parts of railway vehicles, rehabilitation of industrial locomotives, etc., for the domestic market. <laughs> Ownership and management The Government of India owns about 75% of SAIL's equity and retains voting control of the company. However, SAIL, by virtue of its Maharatna status, enjoys significant operational and financial autonomy. 
Mr. Anil Kumar Chowdhury is the current chairman. He succeeded Sri Saraswati Prasad. Topic: Operations. As of the 31st of March 2015, Sale has 93,352 employees, as compared to 170,368 as of the 31st of March 2002. There has been a continuous reduction of headcount over the past few years due to enhanced productivity and rationalized manpower. The total requirement of its main raw material, iron ore, is met through its captive mines. To meet its growing requirement, capacities of existing iron ore mines are being expanded and new iron ore mines are being developed. In addition, new iron ore deposits in the states of Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Odisha and Karnataka are being explored. Around 24% of its coking coal requirements are met from domestic sources, the remaining through imports. For improving coking coal security, the company is also making efforts for development of new coking coal blocks at Tazra and Sitanala. Sale produced 13.9 million tons of crude steel by operating at 103% of its installed capacity, which is an increase of 1% over the previous year. It also generated 710 megawatts of electricity during FY 2014-15. Topic achievements Source, Best of All Rajiv Gandhi National Quality Award in 1993, 2006, and 2007 for the Balayan Bokaro Plants Quality Summit New York Gold Trophy 2007 International Award for Excellence and Business Prestige and Award of Excellence Maintenance for Sumitomo Heavy Industry and TSUBKIMOTOKOGI Japan won by Alloy Steel Plant, Durgapur. Sale was featured in the 2008 list of Forbes Global 2000 Companies at position 647. Golden Peacock Award for Combating Climate Change 2008 for BSP, Occupational Health and Safety 2008 for BSL National Safety Award to Balai Steel Plant announced by the Ministry of Labour and Employment, Government of India 2008 Durgapur Steel Plant won the second prize in the Association of Business Communicators of India Awards 2008. Ispat Basha Bharati, the Rajbhasha Journal of Sale has been awarded with the first prize under the All India House Journal Award Scheme 2008-09 Salem Steel Plant received the prestigious Greentech Gold Award in Metal and Mining Sector 2008-09. Golden Peacock Award for Corporate Social Responsibility won by Balai Steel Plant BSP for the third year in a row 2009. Rokela Steel Plant collected prestigious Srishti Good Green Governance G -Cube Award 2009. Greentech HR Excellence Award secured by the Durgapur Steel Plant 2009 The Steel Township of Rokela Steel Plant RSP has been ranked 14th in sanitation and cleanliness by Union Urban Development Ministry 2009-10 Greentech Safety Gold Award was given to Balai Steel Plant 2010 The HR Excellence Award by the Greentech Foundation won by Balai Steel Plant 2010 South Sudanese Pounds has won the prestigious Greentech Silver Award in training category of Greentech HR Excellence Awards 2010. 
Award for Financial and Operational Strength by Indian Institute of Industrial Engineering 2009-10 Golden Peacock Environment Management Award 2011 Randstad Award for HR Practices and Employer Branding under Manufacturing Industries Category 2011 Maiden Wokhart Shining Star CSR Award in the Iron and Steel Sector Category 2011 Salem Steel Plant SSP has won the prestigious National Sustainability Award for the sixth time in succession and thirteenth time since inception of the award from Indian Institute of Metals IIM. 2011 of the 33 Prime Ministers SRAM Awards announced for 2010 by the Ministry of Labour, Government of India, 17 of which went to PSUs, Sale employees won 11 awards. Of the total number of 76 awardees for the year, 45 belong to sale, a remarkable distinction for any organization. Maharatna Sale has received the prestigious Golden Peacock Environment Management Award for the year 2011. The award, in recognition of SAIL's initiatives and achievements in the field of environment management, was presented by Union Minister for Home Affairs Sri P. Chidambaram on 24 June 2011 74 of a total of 128 awardees who have won the prestigious Vishwakarma Rashtriya Puraskar VRP are from sale. The 15 out of 28 awards won by sale went to our 74 employees for the performance year 2008. Balai Steel Plant won seven such awards involving 36 employees, Bokaro Steel Plant won six awards involving 29 employees. Durgapur Steel Plant and Salem Steel Plant both won one award each involving five and four employees respectively. Sale employees have won four out of five awards of Class A, which is the highest number of A-class awards won by any PSU in India. <laughs> Future plans. Sale, is in the process of modernizing and expanding its production units, raw material resources and other facilities to maintain its dominant position in the Indian steel market. The aim is to increase the production capacity from the base level production of 14.6 mt per annum to 26.2 mt per annum of hot metal. The following table shows the increased production of various items prior to and post expansion. On the 25th of May 2012, Steel Authority of India Limited entered into a memorandum of understanding with the government of West Bengal and Burn Standard Company Limited for setting up of a railway wagon factory of approximately 210 crore rupees, 29 million dollars. This project will create an approximate 75,300 jobs. The company also looking to establish one full capacity integrated plant in Andhra Pradesh or Telangana and surveying the possibilities to set up the plant. The plant, which was proposed to be the first steel plant of such scale in the state, was estimated to get an investment of 4,400 crore rupees. Topic. See also. List of steel producers. Steel production by country.